how's the growth yeah been to watch through your son's eyes oh man it, you know when i got don't make him angry on comedy central i did this joke called ting ting where he plays with his dick because yeah, yeah. he always plays with his dick yeah and he painted it green and uh and uh and he hated it he fucking <laughs> hated it when people walked up to him he'd give him that the stinky eye like like don't say that to me because people would say it to him oh is this yeah. ting ting yeah and he'd be so fucking mad and he and he said i don't get it i don't get it dad what are you doing i don't even get it like he and he was being honest. He's just a little boy. He doesn't know what yeah. stand up is. So, and he used to hurt my feelings because like, he wouldn't come to the shows. I would beg him. I would have to buy like PlayStations. <laughs> Literally, I would have to tell the club, please buy a PlayStation. My son's coming. Like, just so he'll sit in the green room because he does not want to come. Yeah. And I like, I literally have to like beg him to come and find reasons to get him to come. And he just wasn't getting it. And I just, and then, and then my, then my ex wife, got a new boyfriend who i love he's great his name's gino perez you can look him up he's an ex-skateboarder street skater he's fucking amazing and now he does like clothing right and my son fell in love with him and it was just it was killing me bro wow killing me because like literally like oh uh gino's teaching me how to do an ollie dad oh he's teaching God. me how to do an ollie oh gino got me a skateboard dad dad gino gino made me these pants you fucking zebra fucking pants i hate them <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to buy him jordans <laughs> he yeah. doesn't want to wear the jordans and i was literally like i was i wasn't jealous of gino's relationship i was i was jealous of my son's love for whatever gino was doing i was yeah. jealous of that because i don't think he understood what dad was doing and the sacrifice that dad was giving so that he could have this beautiful life yeah. and it was killing me man it was fucking killing me and then and it wasn't until he was about 13 this is just recently maybe 12 then my son started like oh i oh my dad does stand up and people think oh i get it like oh you're funny i get it and and then he's been coming around more and walking on stage more well, and, so i've seen i've seen like a a real maturation of his just the way just like there was like a, a shyness of like get the oh come on you know so now he's like, I saw him on, I think he was on stage at the forum. Yeah. And he was just like, like, you yeah. see, like, he was like. Oh, he loved it. You, you know, there was this point where I told them to, to take the wash lights and shoot them at the audience. You yeah. know what I mean? I go, I go take the wash and blow out the audience, right? And, uh, and, and, and when you're doing it through rehearsal, it's with a bunch of empty seats. You know what I mean? You're, and, you, and you look at the, the light guy, you go, oh, that, yeah, that's perfect. I like that. But you don't know what it's going to look like when they really do it. And when they blew out the audience, when I said good night, man, Bert, it was crazy, man. Even my son was like, Dad, that I got chills, man. He goes, it was so crazy, Dad. I I didn't know that there was that many people. It was it was crazy. So that that was just like that moment I got to share with my son. 